welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we got a little unboxing we're going to do. I finally got my box in that I've been waiting on. This is the uh, Guggen Squad Mega Mystery Box. So it's supposed to be nothing but a box full of uh, Guggen baits. Uh, but before we get into that, I do want to say thank you all for all the likes, subscribes, the comments. Uh, the last couple of days has been crazy. The channel, I mean, it's been growing pretty quick. So I just want to say thank you all for that. And uh, also I want to say happy holidays. I know Christmas is coming around the corner for, uh, you know, a lot of people that celebrate Christmas. Uh, so anyways, I just wanted to say that thank you all for that. Also, I wanted to say, I didn't know if I mentioned this in the giveaway video, but in that giveaway video, hopefully y'all know that's for people that are in the U.S., the United States. I won't be shipping to out of the United States just because the shipping cost is way too much. Uh, I noticed when I was watching a video a while ago on somebody else's giveaway, they said that, and I noticed a lot of people, there's hardly anybody that actually ships their stuff out of the United States for that reason. Uh, if that caused any inconveniences, I'm sorry, but that's just how it's going to be. Uh, also on that giveaway, I noticed that a lot of people are like double comment and triple comment and whatever. Uh, I will be using a filter on that to limit it down to one comment per person. That way it's fair for everybody. And so anyways, with that being said, good luck on the giveaway. I'll be doing the giveaway either i want to say thursday or friday or some sometime this week we'll be doing it uh but anyways good luck to everybody that entered and thank y'all for helping me grow this channel thank y'all for taking time out of y'all's busy day to watch uh like i said comment like subscribe if you haven't entered that giveaway yet make sure you go back to the bass casters plus giveaway uh and get in on that and enter uh so you can get in on it uh also i was gonna uh see what y'all thought i've had a lot of people asking me when i'm gonna do my fishing videos so i actually thought about doing one tomorrow i was gonna ask y'all if y'all would like to see me take the new guggen click baits out and give them a shot uh there is a little lake around here it's a shallow lake but uh I thought maybe we could go give it a shot. I don't know if we'll, if we'll catch anything or not, but uh, if anything, maybe y'all can uh, just see the action of the bait going through the water or whatever. And maybe we'll take some of these baits down there too. So if y'all like to see me go fishing and use some of these baits, uh, comment and let me know. I'll be more than happy to go give it a shot. It's supposed to be pretty tomorrow, so that might increase our chances of catching something considering it's been in the what is it been in the low 30s at night and the high 40s or 50s during the day tomorrow is supposed to be in the 70s so could give us a good chance to catch some fish and so i thought about taking that out those uh click baits out and giving them a shot along with some of the others that we've got in this box and the past boxes so anyways y'all just look, comment and let me know what y'all think and uh if y'all don't want to see that then i won't even bother with it if y'all do then we'll go give it a shot but I say if we get 20 comments that says yes, that y'all want me to do it, I'll go give it a shot tomorrow after I get off work. Uh, anyway, so let's get into this. This is the Guggen Mega Mystery Kit. Uh, this should have been in here a long time ago, but it just now got here. Uh, I don't know what's going on with their shipment, shipping, but I'm having the same problems with uh, Tackle Warehouse. I ordered a box like two weeks ago. I still, it hadn't even left the warehouse yet. This one left the warehouse and sit in the same spot since the second, and I finally got it today. Uh, so I don't know what's going on. I imagine it's probably the holidays, you know, everybody ordering from Black Friday and stuff, but it's probably got them a little behind. But. Anyways, let's get into this. Like I said, it's Guggen Mega Mystery. So, let's see what we got. Alright. First up, we got the Guggen sticker. Let me get a 
drink real quick. All right, so first up, we got the Guggen Squad Blooper. I've been wanting one of these. I haven't gotten one yet. Uh, this is in a sexy shad color. It's two and three fourths inches long, weighs three eighths of an ounce. And this is just basically your typical popper. Uh, it does have a, I'm going to go ahead and open these up. And I always put them back in the package. I'm sure y'all want to see them. But uh, the blooper is basically like your basic style popper. I mean, there's nothing really special about it. The only thing I do think that is different with this one is I think their mouth, the cup of the popper is a little deeper. So it's going to make a loud bloop, you know, bloop. So yeah, it's got a little deeper of a cup if you all can see that uh so yeah it's gonna like it's gonna make a loud blooping sound got pretty color bright red mouth i like the little ridges on the bottom though it is that kind of almost looks like a little bug you know like the bottom of a bug i don't know what those things are called but they're I think they're called uh, lotuses or something. And then you got the little feathered treble hook. So all in all, nice looking little popper. I'm excited to get that. That's one of the Guggen baits. Ow. And the hooks are short. That's one of the Guggen uh, baits I don't have yet. So that's nice to get that. And like I said, that's sexy shed. That's probably my favorite color from them. Next up, we have the Guggen Squad Scout. This is probably one of my favorite baits by them. I like the Junior Scout myself. A little bit smaller profile. But that's me. I'm sure the Scout works just as good. But this is a... Uh, it dived four to six feet. It's four and a uh, third inch long, and it weighs half an ounce. And the color is yellow perch. I've been wanting this color right here. I've heard a lot of good things about this color. But it's a yellow perch. And it's got the diving depth on the bottom, which is always a go-to. I like that on the front of the bait, they got the, the oval instead of the circle. And uh, so, yeah, nice looking jerk bait. I love a jerk bait. Jerk bait's probably one of my favorite things to throw along with a fluke and a chatter bait. So we'll definitely probably give this one a shot tomorrow. If not, I'll probably give the the junior a shot because like I said where we're going where I'm wanting to go is going to be a shallow lake and this right here would probably actually hit the bottom uh four to six feet it's about 10 feet there so yeah I'm hoping the grass will be died out and we won't have to worry about that next up we have the Guggen Recon and this is in a sexy shed. Dived eight to 12 feet. It's two to three quarters inch long and it weighs five eighths of an ounce. good looking bait right there and uh, this right here I won't be able to use tomorrow this is gonna dive way too deep and uh, so yeah but all in all good looking bait I like it I'll definitely put it to use uh, probably next year whenever we get into getting around to some of these bigger lakes 
but uh, the one I'm going to tomorrow will not. Like I said, that'll hit the bottom really easily. Next up, we have a 3 8 ounce Juicy Jig. Uh, this one is in Rotten Pumpkin. That's a heck of a name. And it's got the 5 op book, 3 8 ounce. Good looking color. I like it. Uh, I've never had the Rotten Pumpkin color. So let's get in here and get a more a better look at it. Okay. That's interesting. I like it. You can see the little sparkles of red in it. The head is actually a brown with red glitter in it, a red flake. And right there, you can see the weights on the head. So, all in all, looks really good. Uh, got the double bait keeper. Uh, so yeah, all in all, good looking bait. And I'll add that one to my collection because like I said, I don't have the rotten tomato or rotten pumpkin or whatever color it was. And uh, I'm a big Guggen fan, so what was that again? Rotten pumpkin. And it's in my favorite size, the 3 eighths of an ounce. So whenever you're bank fishing, that's a good size to have. It's a good all around size. So next up, we have the banger. And this is a good bait right here. Guggen Banger and the Mini Banger, those are probably my favorite by them, along with the Scout. This is in a Sarah Cross Craw, I believe that's how you say it. Uh, two to five feet, two and a quarter inch long, three eighths of an ounce. This is my favorite series of their baits, the Banger. And I don't think I have this color in the banger. I know I've got it in the recon, but I don't have it in the banger. So anyways, it's your crawl pattern style. Ow. <clears throat> but yeah, this is your typical square bill. Shallow, shallow diving, which actually works right now. If the uh, fish are still chasing shad, which they should be. So we might actually be able to get that one out tomorrow and try it too. So there's your banger. Next up, we got the filthy frog. This one is in a leopard frog and I don't have this one either. I got the bullfrog last time, so. This is a uh, two and a half inches long, five eighths of an ounce. And I'm sure everybody's seen the filthy frog by now. It says eat me on top, which is probably one of everybody's favorite things about these, but they're a really good frog. Like I said, you got to trim the legs down just a little bit, but all around really good frog. Next up, we got the clutch. Uh, so this is the clutch. It's in a mud bug. Really like that color. It's a uh, two and a half inches long, half an ounce. That's one thing about Guggen. They make sure they secure their baits and they're really good. <laughs> So this is the clutch. This is another one I don't think I have. Hooks are sticky. This is going to be a tight wobble by the design of the thickness of the bait. That, that profile is real thin. It's got a real thick head. It slenders out. But all in all, it's got a blue tip on the head, which is real cool. And then it goes into that black and then... You got that crawdad style or mud bug, whatever you want to call it. 
this looks like our typical crawdad down here, so that'll actually work. Uh, love it. That's a nice looking bait. Might have to break that one out tomorrow, too. I think as long as I reel it fast enough, I'll be able to burn it through to not get stuck on bottom. <laughs> but all in all, that's the Guggen clutch. Mud bug. And then we got some 3 out Guggen hammer hooks. Can't go wrong with that. Uh... These are some real good hooks. I do like these. They're a thick profile hook. And uh, they work really well. I use, that's perfect size too because I use between three and four odd on mine. And then next up we have the Zinger in Chartreuse White, three eighths of an ounce. And we have the Guggen Neko. Uh, let's get this out and look at it. I do like their spinner baits. And I'll show you why. Not only the fact that they actually do work good. Come on out of there. But they're one of the few that put that little green keeper on the top. And all it is is a little old rubber band. But that keeps your line from falling all over the place whenever you're trying to tie it up and reel it in. It'll be most of the time you get a lot of problems with uh, it sliding around. Uh, got the double keeper, double keeper on it. And like I said, it's a Willow and a Colorado. Got the gold Colorado and the silver willow leaf, so all in all, good good looking little spinner bait. I like their spinner baits, so that works for me. And like I said, just that little low simple thing that they did with that rubber band was one of the greatest ideas ever. I mean, for a spinner bait, because that's one of the main problems you have is your line twisting and going and sliding around and then you know it's just a big problem if they if all of them bait companies would just put a little rubber band or some kind of keeper at the top like that to block it off it'd make them a lot better so that's the zinger so well, that's the end of the box up there people and i think that was a good box I mean, there's a, uh, you know, I mean, it's not a surprise because there's not a, like, you know, a bunch of different companies in there, but I just wanted the Guggen box. It kind of helped me get stacked up on some of the Guggen stuff. And not only that, I just wanted to see if maybe I'd get some stuff that I don't have. And I did. So that works out even better. Uh, so yeah, all in all, I thought it was a good box. So We'll do a little recap. We got the zinger. We got the clutch. We got the filthy frog. We got the banger. We got the recon. We got the scout. We got the blooper. We got the Juicy Jig, and we got a full pack of the Hammer Hooks, and of course the Neko, so uh, that was uh, 10 items plus the Neko, I think, or whatever, 10 items including, oh yeah, we can't forget our Guggen sticker. All in all, I'd give that box, considering, you know, you're not knowing what you're getting in the box from Guggen. I wish they would have threw in a couple of uh, their soft plastics, but they didn't, and that's okay. But I give that bo that box a B plus, uh, just for the simple fact they didn't add no plastic into it. It was all basically hard baits, and I like some of their soft plastics, so it would have been nice to get some of that. But uh, all in all, good box. Uh, 
anyways, y'all, I have other boxes coming. I'm just basically, I mean, they're all being shipped out and I'm waiting on them to be delivered here. So try to be patient with me. I don't know when they're going to get here or what, but we got the monster bass box coming. We got the mystery tackle box. I've got a box from tackle warehouse. Uh, so yeah, y'all just hang in there and we'll have some more boxes in. And like I said, just comment below if y'all would like to see me go fishing tomorrow or next day or something like that. Anyways, I'll do a goo. I'll do like a, a video with some of these lures basically all fishing with nothing but some of these lures out of these boxes and we'll just do that and see how we do but anyways thank y'all for taking time out of y'all's busy day to join and watch me and let's keep it up and good luck on the giveaway good night y'all